Hi again, folks. Um, I just wanted to share something, just a random thing. I was like, just changing, about to go out, um, hang with my best buddy, Paul, my Polly. Anyway, um, yeah, I was wondering, like, I don't know, guys seem to like big booties and big boobies and all the stuff, whatever. For me, I've always had an issue, I guess, personally with myself and, you know, what, you know, I, I attract guys to, whatever. Um, and then also, it's also been, like, a thing amongst girls, like, you know, we want our, either our boobs to be bigger or smaller or our, our butts to be not so big or our butts to be bigger or whatever, we're tight clothing or we wear clothing that's looser or whatever, you know, and stuff. I have friends who have bigger boobs than me and don't like to flaunt them. But, you know, for me, in my perspective, I don't understand it really because I'm like, hey, if I had your size, I would, my cleavage would be everywhere. Maybe not. I mean, I don't know what it's like to be in their shoes, you know. Um, you know, they, I've heard that, you know, big boobs cause back problems and all sorts of stuff. They're always in the way and, you know, whatever. And uh, I like my boobs, actually. Growing up, I didn't like them so much. But now I'm more comfortable with myself a little bit. And I like the size of my breasts because, you know, they're not in the way. I can, you know, I feel like I feel more free. They're not weighing me down. I, you know, they're great. The only setback I think I could complain about is that I can't get cleavage. There's no, no way I can do that without, like, taping them together somehow or something. They don't meet. They don't meet. They don't know each other. Uh... Unfortunately, but uh, that's something I can live with. I'm not getting myself fixed up. I'm not going to get implants of any kind. I'm not going to take any kind of pills to enlarge them. I don't really care. Like, I mean, why fix what God gave you, right? Um, and it's not really fixing because we're supposed to all be, like, perfect creations, supposedly. That's what's said. Isn't that what's said? Yeah, I think so. So, you know, I like that, oops. And then, uh, compensation, I have a, not humongous, not large or huge, it's a good size, but, um, bigger than in proportion to my body, so it's quite noticeable. Uh, I'd get up right now and show you, but I'm not gonna, it's whatever, but my friends who know me, they know what it looks like. Um, <laughs> okay, well, it's like, whatever, anyway, um, <laughs> Yeah, my best LA is bigger than my boobs, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, I get enough compliments on it. For I've met guys who are like, well, you know, um, you know, I'm a I'm a booty man, or I'm a whatever, you know, I like your ass, or yada, or I get, you know, walk down the street and guys are like, oh damn, look at that, blah, blah, blah. you know, I get it's disgusting, and then it's you know flattering, and then it gets all sorts of stuff, whatever. Um, I don't complain about my butt. Not a hard problem with it. Um, it's fine. Whatever, it's a good shape. It's not overwhelming or nothing like that. I can fit in my jeans. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, my thighs are a little big. My mom had huge thighs, my birth mother. Um, I'm afraid my thighs are not going to stop growing according to what my mom's body type was. But with a little exercise and a and a good diet, I should keep it under control, but, um, I don't really do that. <laughs> like, I have a membership at a gym, but I don't usually go that often, and, um, uh, and my health, my, what I put into my body, food-wise, not highly recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I mean, only, only you can do it personally if you can handle it. Um, because seriously, if I didn't have the metabolism that I have today, I would be 500 pounds because, I mean, starting from high school, because in high school I used to eat McDonald's like every day after school, like almost every day, if not every other day. Like, I should be huge. I should be bigger than this room. It's ridiculous. Like, all that, I don't know where that fat, all that fat and crap went, because, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> I, I, I should at least, if not, if not being fat, I should at least have had, like, five heart attacks by now. 
So, I've been lucky with that. <laughs> Thank God. Um, yeah. But, uh, I don't know, I guess every guy's different. Um, you know, the, you see on TV, a perfect girl, has curves, and a nice butt, and a nice set of jugs and stuff, and in all reality, all guys like different shapes and sizes. Some guys like big boobs, some guys like no boobs at all, and some guys love butts, or some guys like long legs, or whatever. I also get compliments on my legs, too, because I have long legs. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn tall. People either think I should join tracks, track star, I should be a track star, I should be a basketball player, or a model. I've always gotten one of those three. I've, I used to play sports when I was a kid, but I've, I've grown to come to see that I'm not very good at sports. Sports don't like me. At, long story, that's a whole other bit. Um, and I tried, I went through the whole modeling phase. When you're a teenager, you fall into it more because it's like, oh, you know, like, I want to be on the cover of, you know, Vogue and Elle magazine and, you know, and wear all the hottest clothes and stuff. And, you know, I'm tall enough, yada, yada, yada. I, I did, I went to scouting places and all that stuff, but it just didn't work out. Whatever. Not a big deal. I don't think I can handle the modeling biz anyway. Um, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, it's, I like my height a little bit more than I used to when I was, when I was a teen, it was pretty, it was pretty annoying. <clears throat> Most of the boys in my school were shorter than me. Um, so, naturally, I like, was attracted to guys taller than me. They either, either my height or taller. So, for me, if I'm picky about anything, it's about height. I like height in a guy. That's the first thing that come. that's the first thing I look for, um, and then everything goes from there, um, you know, uh, I figured, why can't I have a guy as tall as a man, why do I have to settle for a guy that's shorter, you know, like, why can't I go for something like that, I like to look up at somebody for a change, all my friends, almost everybody knows my height or shorter, so, you know, like, it's, it would be a nice change up, I guess, um, but yeah, uh, in case you're wondering, like, I'm 5'11 on a bad day, <laughs> 6 feet on a good day, in between, whatever, fluctuates. I kind of have a hunch, a hunch over a little bit. I used to have a worse hunch, but I've been working on it, trying to uh, sit up straight and stuff, walk straight, you know, walk with my head up, yeah, and stuff like that. Um, I haven't done the book balancing thing, but um, I'm thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like my body. I could have flatter, a flatter stomach. That's probably one thing I can complain about forever until I get that fixed because I don't have abs at all and it's I got a little little roll, but um yeah, I would love to love that to be like a be nice and washboard kinda that'd be kinda hot. Uh not my first priority. Uh but other than that, yeah. I like myself, and, you know, whatever you got, flaunt it, and as long as you're comfortable with it, you know, you big boob girls out there, and your fat ass chicks, and all that shit, yeah, got it, flaunt it, and do it right, don't, don't be a hoochie, that's, that's tacky, that's, that's distasteful, no, don't do that, <laughs> be a lady, and then you'll be treated like one, basically, that's all. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.